Hi everyone, sorry for the audio, but uh, I have a big laser and a projector next to me. Uh, so they're going to be very noisy, so I've had to do some noise reduction, which has led to this horrible garbling sound. So sorry about that, but you know, I'm going to try and show you guys today how to uh, map uh, a projection and match a laser to that projection. So we'll start off uh, by doing the projection mapping uh, part. So if I go in to begin with, I'm going to create a camera. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to click on camera, click on geometry, and then click on light. And then I'm going to go to the top tab. I'm going to let go of control, and then I'm going to lay down a render. And this creates our basic 3D setup. We have a camera, a geometry, a light. We don't really need the light. I just do it all the time anyway. Uh, and we have our render. So I'm going to take our render and I'm going to set it, go to the common page and set a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to go inside my geometry and create our canvas. So if I create a grid, oops, sorry, a SOP grid inside, then I want my canvas to be 1.2 by 0.9. Uh, and I want my rows and columns to be 3x3 three three because my bolts that I'm going to map to are 3x3. Three three. So we're going to map to these bolts on the wall. Uh, so this is all good. Uh, it's in the right resolution. I want to turn on uh, display and render and go up a level. Oh, actually, before I go up a level, I'm going to go back in, sorry. I want to also set the primitive type to polygon. So if I go up level, I now have my uh, canvas. It's quite small in the render. So I want to bring my camera and just bring that camera in. Uh, I'm going to set it to something like uh, 1.95. And then I'm going to also, because it's all fully, I want a wireframe so I can map to it. It's all fully opaque right now. So I just want to say, add a material, which is going to be my wireframe material. I'm just going to drag that onto Geo1 and hit Palm Material. So that gives me a wireframe that I can work with. It's quite thin, so I'm going to make it a bit thicker. And then I'm going to create my output window. So the render is all good. That uh, That's all set up. So now I just need to create a null, which is going to be our final output. So I'm going to call this null output, just to uh, signify that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a window um, component because I want to open this window just as a separate window for now. So I'm going to drag my null output onto the window operator. I'm going to say fill location borders off open in a separate window in a moment. I think monitor one. Uh, and that's all good. And then I can open this up. And it's going to open up my outputs. And you can now see that in the bottom right corner. I have a grid um, ready to go, and we just need to projection map it. So the easiest way to projection map on a flat surface like this, uh, with a very grid-like object, is to just open up the palette and use the stoner. So I'm going to drag the stoner in, and I'm going to um, plug my render one into the input, and I'm going to plug my first output, out one, into the null. So that's my stoner in the middle of my network. To open up the stoner, we can either click right click uh, view or we can pulse this open stoner window parameter on the parameters tab. So at the moment I'm in keystone mode. Now what's annoying with the stoner is if I go to keystone something and then I change my numbers of rows and columns, it actually resets my keystone. So what I want to do is know what my rows and columns are before I start keystoning. So I know that I have three rows and three columns, so I can just type those in, and now we're ready to go. So on the keystone, I can then drag, uh, and just dragging, I'm trying to drag my, my points here to the bolts on the wall. Uh, so I'm going to drag those up. And this is the perspective pin, so it should get about 99% of the way there uh, without me needing to do any grid warping. So if I just bring that in, uh, if it was a, fl a perfectly flat wall, then it would actually get it 100%, but because my wall's not quite flat by the looks of it, um, we're going to need to do a little bit of adjustment, probably. Because my canvas isn't completely perfectly to the edges, I have to do a little bit of 
uh, iteration in terms of getting these points in the right place. And now they're looking pretty good, uh, so I can go into my grid warp. And in the grid warp, I'm literally just going to tap in using the keyboard uh, those points in the middle, that point in the center. The point at the bottom can move a little bit left, and the point at the top can probably move a bit left as well. I think that's good. And everything else is looking pretty good. Maybe my bottom left corner, I might just tap that a little bit in as well. Okay, cool. So that's our projection mapping setup. And we are now ready to start with our laser setup.